Can you tell me about the expectations that a buyer should have when they hire you to do an inspection and maybe some of the like misconceptions that you see buyers commonly have as well? I would say any buyer who is purchasing a house and is ordering an inspection should expect from the inspector to do a full thorough inspection in terms of checking every single corner, even though it's a visual inspection. I'm that guy who will try to touch, open, close, start, stop, every single area that I have access to. If the house is not vacant, if it's occupied and there is furniture, we will have a lot of limitations in terms of we won't see all the walls and floors and probably won't have access to outlets and stuff like that. That's why I always put a ton of pictures from the inside of the house, general pictures in the report to show how the furniture is placed. So when you have the final walkthrough, when they remove all the furniture, you can make a comparison. Maybe there is a hole in the wall, maybe there is something else. You should First of all, expect from the inspector a thorough inspection. I would say in general, not a one hour, I call it one hour inspection. It doesn't really happen one hour. If you get a general rule of thumb, if you have a 4,000 square foot house, you would say this is a four hour job. Probably it's shorter when the inspector gets experienced and so on. It can be two hours and a half. For me, general rule is like average two hours and a half for a single family house, like a general house, because there are houses of 10,000 square feet that can spend even seven hours inside the house. The best way is to ask the inspector what he's doing, what type of reports. A lot of inspectors will be more than happy to send a sample of the report, probably from a previous inspection, because this is our advertisement. I have a lot of clients that are calling me over the phone and trying to find out what I'm inspecting, what I'm not inspecting. In most cases, you will send an agreement to a client and he will have to read the agreement. And in the agreement is explained in details what an inspector is doing, what are the limitations, what we can inspect, what we cannot. I can tell you 95% of yeah. people, they don't read the agreement, then they come to the inspection and they realize that there are a lot of things that, for example, a home inspector won't inspect a yes. sauna. And they're like, Will you check that? Or there are people who will come to the inspection and will put their hand on the wall and will ask, what's in this wall? <laughs> we cannot see through the walls. I had a client like this. It's all about, let's call it psychology, right? Sure. We have to deal with people. Sure. I mean, there are different people, different skills, by the way. There are a lot of contractors that are coming. Never expect from an inspector to do everything you ask. Don't demand an inspector to do that, to do that, to do that. 